Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. Today I'm going to show you some must-have MAC eyeshadows. Um, I wanted to do this video way back in the time when I did my MAC blush collection video, but I somehow kind of missed doing this video. And suddenly it struck me that I haven't done this MAC eyeshadows video because I was thinking about what I should do, what I should do, what I should do, and then I came up with this video. Anyway, I'm going to show you some MAC eyeshadows that you really should have in your MAC eyeshadow collection if you are starting your MAC eyeshadow collection or you already have a few MAC eyeshadows and you're just looking to expand your collection. Okay, so we'll start with highlight color first. Um, a really good highlight and one of my personal favorites obviously is a shroom which is right here. I'm sorry I'm not removing it from a palette from the squad because it's very difficult to remove the eyeshadows from here because they don't have any place where you can dig in and remove the eyeshadow. But never mind. This one is called Shroom and you've seen me use this a zillion times in my makeup tutorials. I absolutely love this. I can't even describe these eyeshadows like what they are but this is the perfect, perfect, perfect highlight color. I have it on right now and I'm going to add some little bit more. It's just a gorgeous highlight color. You cannot go wrong with Shroom. So if you're wanting to try out a highlight color, definitely go consider Shroom. If you find hard uh, getting your hands on Shroom, uh, definitely give rice paper a try. I've seen a lot of Indian girls like it and love it to death. I don't have rice paper but I think it's a very good um, alternative to Shroom. Since we are on neutrals, this is a gorgeous all over lid color and it's a perfect lid color for me if I'm going for an eye makeup look which is I don't want to be visibly there but I still want it to be there and this one is all that glitters. I cannot tell you how much I love this. It's a gorgeous all over lid color. It's kind of a creamy, it's kind of a pinky with goldeny, bronzy tones to it. It's it's very, it's a great eyeshadow. That's the swatch of all that glitters. As you can see, it's got a beautiful sheen to it. So it uh, kind of uh, pops up your eye. It kind of lights up your face without being bam in your face makeup. That is all that glitter swatched. It's barely, as you can see, it's barely visible because it is so close to my skin color, but it has that sheen to it. It's amazing. Another favorite of mine for all over lid is called Satin Taupe. That's how it looks. This is a purpley taupe color. It's really gorgeous for all over the lid. Um, even though it looks like dark in the pan, it's not like that. I'm wearing this all over my lid today and you can see it gives me just a Bit, tad bit of color but it gives a lot of sheen to my eyes that is the beauty of satin taupe that is how it swatches that is satin taupe swatched another close eyeshadow to satin taupe but this is more in the brown family will be sable this is another um, amazing all over daily wear eyeshadow for me this one here is satin taupe and this is sable you can see they are very similar but sable is lighter than satin taupe so if you don't want to go for that purpley taupe eyeshadow you can definitely give sable a try on the eyelids they pretty much look the same uh, it's not um, too much of a difference but yeah it's still there is a difference this one is sable it's kind of a brown with a pink with a bronze with gold Everything kind of just bumped into one beautiful eyeshadow. This one here is Sable and this one here is Satin Taupe. So you can see Sable is more in the brown family and Satin Taupe is more in the taupey family. But both of them are gorgeous everyday wear shades. This next eyeshadow by MAC is one of the hot cakes that MAC sells. Just like Satin Taupe. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing bronzy brown eyeshadow. This one is called Wood Winged. Um, I've gone through like this is my second wood winged I had a pot and I got over with that and then I bought a refill it's such a gorgeous eyeshadow it's perfect for everyday wear it's perfect for office wear it is a gorgeous bronzy goldeny eyeshadow it's so hard to even explain it and this one has a velux this is a velux pearl finish eyeshadow i think even satin taupe is but i'm not sure because they don't have the formulation written at the back of the pan but since i had the pot nine i know that this is a velux pearl so it's got that beautiful sheen to it just look at this baby it's just amazing definitely you should have wood winged in your collection that is a swatch of Woodwinged. On camera, Woodwinged and Sable look very similar, but they're not. Uh, this one is definitely more bronzy, 
browny goldeny sort of a color you can see my finger I've swatched it on my hand but it's left that glistening sort of an effect it's a it's just the most amazing eyeshadow this next eyeshadow that you should give a try is in the brown family but it has an orange tinge to it this one here is texture this is the most unique brown eyeshadow I've seen it's got very 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 minor shimmers in it um, you can see the shimmers in the pan but you cannot see the shimmers anywhere in your eye and it is the perfect color for warming up any eye makeup look I have worn texture in my crease today on this outer corner I like not outer corner but I have it right here and then I've blended it all the way in but I've concentrated the color on the outer corner of my eye that is texture it's an amazing brown I haven't seen a brown like this which has an orange tinge but it looks yet so good when you uh, want to wear with any eye makeup look and it's a perfect warm-up color for the crease that is texture swatched of all of my eyeshadows texture is the most pigmented eyeshadow that I have it's like I barely have to put my brush in it and there's so much product onto the brush that I have to keep throwing the brush like I have to keep patting out the br color of the brush at least for five to seven times before I get the actual the right amount of color otherwise I'll have way too much color in my eye and you can see from the swatch as well this is insanely pigmented eyeshadow this next eyeshadow that I absolutely love is called twinks and this is a purpley brown eyeshadow that's how it looks and that's how it swatches that is a swatch of twinks the next one is a brown eyeshadow this one is called Swiss chocolate and really Mac has just so many browns and it has so many of other colors also but Swiss chocolate is a really amazing amazing color it's kind of a brown with a red undertone to it must have eyeshadow if you're looking for a crease color eyeshadow I highly suggest Swiss chocolate this is what it looks like eyeshadow is in a pot and this one was my first eyeshadow I bought from MAC and this is called cranberry this is a frost finish and it's literally a cranberry color it's the most unique uh, pink I have seen with which has golden undertones to it that's how it swatches amazing amazing all over lid color you can wear this in the crease you can wear it just in the outer corners uh, just to add a pop of color and it is yet subtle because it is so it's like dark pink it's not a light pink that will be in your face sort of a pink it's a gorgeous 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 pink there's another pink that I think will look good this one is called expensive pink and I'll hold it next to cranberry and you can see the difference this is expensive pink and this is cranberry so expensive pink is a lot lighter it's a lot peachier actually I don't even know why they call it expensive pink because I feel it should be called expensive peach because this is so much peach than it is pink that is a swatch of expensive pink as you can see it is a very variable um, summer shade in my opinion it will look so good in or like on a bright summer day just to brighten up your eyes to pop up your eyes it's a really gorgeous color this is expensive pink right here so and finally last but not the least this is a amazing gorgeous sea green eyeshadow this one is called steamy this is such a unique color you guys and this reminds me of a bright summer day by the beach it's just awesome 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 color it is the most flattering green color as you can see it is a sea green color it's so beautiful all over the lid it is even more beautiful just smudged out under the lower lash line for just a pop of color but this is not just a pop of color this will really pop up your eyes a lot that is steamy swatch right here just throw in an extra eyeshadow here because I can't help but showing this to you as well this one is called mulch and this is again a dark brown with but this is a gorgeous eyeshadow for um, when you're going for really dark smoky eyes if you're wearing twinks you can wear this in, in in the crease you can use it under your lower lash line to give a brown smoky eye look it's a really nice um, dark brown color that is mulch so yeah that was pretty much the eyeshadows that I wanted to show you again with MAC there is never a like must have eyeshadows and there's never a the end to these I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to be friends with me on Instagram and Facebook I will have the links of both of them down below in the description bar so make sure to be friends with me there and I'll see you soon in my next video till then take care and 
have a wonderful time ahead and i love you all as always bye